Across the country, innovative energy technologies are offering opportunities for growth. In Austin, Texas, public-private partnerships are turning cutting-edge research into real-world solutions, offering communities and local governments a chance to experience a hydrogen energy system in operation. Texas has been at the heart of hydrogen innovation long before the markets took off. Some of the world's top leaders in the energy industry are here in Texas. Texas is very well suited for clean hydrogen because of the existing pipeline assets, the huge existing end use demand for hydrogen, particularly along the Gulf Coast. We have ports that will allow us uh, access to international markets. The Protohub is a public-private partnership that includes uh, GTI Energy, University of Texas Center for Electromechanics, and a number of other uh, universities and nonprofits and our 14 corporate partners. The relationship really began 20 years ago over beer and barbecue in a, in a local hockey talk. We wanted to demonstrate and show how the hydrogen energy ecosystem will work in the future. So the vision of the site was to do all things hydrogen in one location for what we believe is the first time ever. We are making hydrogen from natural gas through a steam methane reformer, but our feedstock for that reformer is renewable natural gas from a landfill in Texas. For the electrolysis side, we have two sources of renewable electricity feeding that. We have solar from a PV array on our research campus, as well as a wind farm in West Texas, up north of Amarillo. The site is so much more than just a research facility. It is a demonstration of practical hydrogen application. It is a showcase for how hydrogen fuel can be used as a reliable and resilient source of energy. System integration is very critical and the learning experience of the Protohub has been invaluable. Plus the involvement of government, private sector is important. And I say culminating in the fact that you're training the next generation of young workers and students here. That technical benefit of that molecule moving all the way through the system from hydrogen production to end use is very, very valuable. It's very valuable for our industry partners. It's very valuable for us. One thing that has always excited me about hydrogen is its versatility, which in turn for me means there's a lot of different directions I could take my career if I want to stay in the energy industry. That could look like more of an automotive application that could look like decarbonizing manufacturing processes. I think it's it's very exciting to be coming into this space right now in my career knowing that I have all the options in front of me. We are actively starting to spool up early programs with our executive engineering education program here at the university, working with industry partners, uh, also starting communications with community colleges in the area to develop that workforce that's gonna support this industry. One of the things that has kept the United States as a leader in energy technology is a decades long partnership between government through federal agencies such as the U.S. Department of Energy, the DOD, the Department of Transportation, EPA, and others. But a partnership between the U.S. government, nonprofits such as my organization, um, research organization, universities, national labs, and industry. This partnership is really exemplified through the Protohub. It's a great example of that type of partnership. We do a lot of uh, tours to groups and organizations, and yeah, they're from all over the world. Um, that was really a eye-opening for me to see how there is a, a worldwide interest in hydrogen as this emerging clean energy technology. Being able to see a hydrogen system from its point of production all the way through to end uses, having a place where people can actually go and see it and see it operate, and we can talk to them about the safety parameters that we put in place, the permitting processes that we're going through. I think that's the best benefit to communities that, and to local governments that we can give them with a site like this. I'm excited with the hub, primarily around pushing the, the automotive technology aspects. So 
incorporating fuel cell technologies into medium and heavy duty buses. And that excites me the most is seeing the potential for hydrogen technology being adopted into the automotive worlds. I think we have a great responsibility to help use our technology to better the environment around it, both in a air quality sense, but also the, the people that it's supposed to be servicing. If you put a hydrogen molecule to replace diesel in a diesel vehicle and run that around communities, the community has a benefit right away in terms of health benefits. We've seen some of the benefits. We've seen some of the uh, promises. What I really see now is there's much more focus on taking the technology from the lab into commercialization. Clean energy is good business. It's good business for Texas, it's good business for the region, it's good business for the country, and oh, by the way, it's environmentally, it's also good news for the consumers and the population that lives in this, in this region. Austin's story is one of many. Communities across the U.S. are harnessing clean energy technologies to build new workforces, attract investment and talent, and invigorate their local economies.